Mr. Mr. Carp, Carp puts his butt on the stage, one and back of the other, and he says, okay, today we're gonna do improvisation. Now, you're on a bobsled, and it's snowing out, and it's cold. Go. <laughs> Every day for a week we would try to feel the motion, feel the motion down the hill. Every day for a week we would try to hear the wind rush, hear the wind rush, feel the chill. So I dug right down to the bottom of my soul to see what I had inside. Yes, I dug right down to the bottom of my soul and I tried, I tried. And everybody's going, shh. I feel the snow, I feel the cold, I feel the air. And Mr. Carp turns to me and he says, what do you feel? And I said, and I said, Nothing, I'm feeling nothing. And he said nothing could get a girl transferred. They all felt something, but I felt nothing except the feeling that this bobsled was absurd. But I said to myself, hey, it's only the first week. Maybe it's genetic. They don't have bobsleds in San Juan. Second week, more advanced that we had to be table, be a sports car, ice cream cone. Mr. Carp, he would say, very good, except Morales to ride Morales all alone. So I dug right down to the bottom of my soul to see how an ice cream felt. Yes, I dug right down to the bottom of my soul and I tried to match. Kids yelled nothing. They called me nothing. And Carp allowed it, which really makes me burn. They were so helpful. They called me hopeless until I really didn't know where else to turn. Carp kept saying, Morales, I think you ought to transfer to Girls High. You'll never be an actress. Never. Oh my gosh. What did you choose? Bring Santa Maria, send me guidance, send me guidance on my knees. Went to church, bring Santa Maria, help me feel it, help me feel it, pretty please. And a voice from down at the bottom of my soul came up to the top of my head. And a voice from down at the bottom of my soul, here is what? It said, this man is nothing. This course is nothing. If you want something, go find a better class. And when you find one, you'll be an actress. And I assure you, that's what finally came to pass. Six months later, I heard that Carl had died. So I dug right down to the bottom of my soul and cried because I felt nothing. Ooh. Thank you, Tracy. Now that 